We hypothesize that the different effects of CFS and antibiotic combinations on biofilms may be related to changes in the protein and polysaccharide content of MPS, and that the combination of CFS and CLR may promote MPS secretion, while the combination of CFS and LBX may have the opposite effect. In vitro, the effects of Lactobacillus plantarum LM66 in antibiotics, alone or in combination, on a mature Helicobacter pylori biofilm, when used in combination with CLR, LM66 CFS significantly reduce the damaging effect of CLR on biofilms conversely. When used in combination with LVX, LN66 CFS enhance the damaging effect of LVX. In vitro, the effects of LN66 and antibiotics, alone or in combination, on mature biofilm, probiotics can antagonize planktonic pathogenic cells and biofilm cells, thus playing a supporting role in antibiotic treatment. Studies have shown that they can form antibiotic-resistant biofilms, which can compromise the effectiveness of clinical antibiotic therapy. Therefore, we suggest that the addition of LN66 may be an added benefit when using LVX therapy to deliver clinical biofilms, whereas when using CLR therapy, it may reduce the effectiveness of CLR therapy. It is recommended that a licensed physician be consulted before proceeding with natural, integrative, or conventional therapy. By providing the information contained herein, we are not diagnosing, treating, curing, alleviating or preventing any disease or illness. However, the effects of different probiotic strains and antibiotic combinations on biofilms require further study. The results showed that LN66 CFS had a damaging effect on mature biofilms, 